How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Leon and this is Budget Pond Keeping. If you're new or just passing through, please consider clicking the subscribe button. It really helps me out. Yeah, this weather is absolutely booming. Look at that. Glorious. So yeah, let's crack on with the video. Right then guys, I've got all the mugs hung up now. Um, so yeah, collection's coming on really nice. Try and get back so you can see them all. Awesome. I've had to put yours up there, Dave, because the handle's the wrong way round. If I'd have had it hanging up, it had just said catch you later, like. So, yeah, but I'm going to rearrange these so I can get everybody's on display. Put Kebs there as well. Paul's. You can hardly see any of these down here. But, yeah, I'll get them rearranged so you can see all of them. Or I'll get a better place to put them, but blimey. See, that budget pond keeping one was a gift. I actually forgot about that. But the uh, ISL Creations who made my hoodie and t-shirt, they gifted me that. So, yeah. So I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I can't even count here. Twisty coy one's hidden. Can't have that, can I? I have to put this down here for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Happy days. Everybody that's given me a mug, thank you so much. And all of those that hasn't got a mug of mine, you will be getting one soon. So yeah, massive thanks. Right then, let's crack on. Right then, um, just gonna go and quickly clean out the fry filter whack a bit of bacteria into the moving bed on the fry tank and then I'm going to put up, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet um, I've got a new um, remote powered remote powered? remote power box from uh, Marrick from Marrick's Koi Pond cheers mate, you're an absolute star so yeah, I'll, get, I'll go and do this fry tank and then we'll get that wired up eh? I'll back in a mo ooh, look at all that lovely muck Moving beds boiling away nicely, or should I say simmering? It might look like it's fast on this camera because I'm on 60 frames per second, but yeah, it's not overly fast. Just right for this tank. Happy days. How's it going, guys? Right, got this off Marrick. Absolute legend. Cheers, Marrick. Um, it's a three way remote Blagden box. Brand new, he's never even used it. Fair play to him. Absolute gent. So yeah, what I'm going to do with this is uh, I'm going to put my uh, air pump on it and uh, my UV and I don't think I need to use that one. So then I've got um, a remote for the air. Boom. Happy days. Yeah, chuffed a bit. Cheers, Marek. I'm going to get this installed now. Right, there's a new switch box wired up off Marek. Uh, just need to get a new battery for this. I think it's uh, dead, the one that's in there. But it come with all the stickers, corresponding stickers, so I'm going to get them on now. But yeah, that's bang on. So I've got all my plugs on a different circuit. And then this one on a, uh, another one. So yeah, happy days. Marek, you're an absolute star. I love this snazzy box, mate. I'm chuffed to bits. Thanks, mate. Well, I completely didn't press record for the whole process of that. But what I was saying was, thank, uh, Chris, had, Chris the Gummy Koi Keeper, give me some... Uh, blanket answer because he knew I needed some for the fry tank because the blanket weed's getting a bit long now so I've treated this but I've done a I've done a few little segments but yeah obviously I haven't pressed record I don't know if you can see down there because I can't even see my screen yeah but yeah some short bits there and then long bits of here there and everywhere but yeah that should be all cleaned out soon as you can see the water levels down, I've just done a clean like uh, siphoned all the bottom out and everything like so yeah hopefully when it comes to bowling up in the next uh, next weekend that'll all be clear and uh, no blanket weed etc and I'm just rambling on again so yeah right I'll be back soon right how's it going guys um, I've repotted my lilies up into some clay uh, in some clay in some gravel in this uh, black tub drilled some holes around there, I've got a few rib ties and a bit of wire I'm going to use some of this uh, netting stuff stretched over the top 
to attempt to try and stop the uh, koi burrowing down but I don't know if it's going to be tight enough across the middle we'll soon see we'll soon see and I'll be back soon right there we go that's that done nice and firm so they can't push down to the gravel I'm gonna get this in now I've missed having me lilies and me plants and if you can remember I had all those irises or reeds whatever there was sticking up here and then I had a bog bean plant which was lovely it grew up and then it went across the surface I do miss that but I don't know the pots of bloody soil in my pond and I definitely miss the lilies especially the wildlife all the plants bring because they used to have great diving beetles uh, dragonfly nymphs or larvae whatever they are dragonflies would always be coming here there and everywhere but since I took all those plants out I've had nothing so let's get these lilies back in and uh, yeah hopefully it does the job started cleaning up down here now got a bit more energy just organizing my stuff all my bloody plants are coming through that so they've grown all the way through all that bloody monkey soil so yeah next thing I need to do sort out down here um, if this sun stays this week I'll be painting the deck in so uh, yeah it's like a building builder's yard at the minute absolutely manky everywhere but yeah I'm gonna get this in now and I'll be back in a sec cheers guys right, that's in I ain't got my Polaroid lens on so you probably won't see it very well but there we go hopefully that works Ooh, I'm not even filming it yeah everyone's coming to investigate Hopefully that works and the, flower, uh, the leaves can uh, make it through, through the gaps. If not, I'll just fetch it out. Should get covered in algae soon as well and then you won't see all those little uh, twist toys and that. But yeah, it's in. I'll leave it for now. On a bonus level, um, even though it's been cold, this seems to be maturing up nice. I'll put a picture on screen in a minute. But uh, see how close we can get. Loads of bacteria growing in most of them. These are the newest pieces. The smaller ones. The dark stuff's been PP'd, but all this media, got the focus, with the extra hole in the middle, is what I put in. Uh, that's the. Whoa, that's the original K1 I put in. Happy days. A bit of a dead spot there, but no drama. Lovely jubbly. Right then, guys. It's been um, a few days since my last clip now. Um, it's bank holiday weekend, and if you're in the UK, you'll know the weather's been really nice um, yesterday, which was Friday, and today, which is Saturday. So, yeah, I thought I'd take the cover off the tank and let you have a proper look at them. Sorry, the bowling up's been delayed, but um, it will 100% be the weekend coming. Next weekend, should I say. So, yeah. You can see these a bit better. Still a little bit cloudy off the blanket answer, but... Yeah, you can have a good look at some of the fish anyway. Or the more confident ones, let's say. I'll try and get a little bit of footage of the small ones that you never see. There's like a little massacre back in here somewhere. Um, that one down there, that little, um, what you want to face it, Kajako. Couple more there. See if we can spot any of them. No, they've gone shy. Tell you what we'll do, we'll get a little bit of food for them, give them a treat, and uh, watch them feed, and then we'll crack on, eh? Right. be able to get a better view of some of them here. Some really nice fish in the mix. Like I say though, a lot of the small ones don't come up normally. So I'll feed some small sinking pellets so that everybody gets a bit of food like, but yeah. The bigger ones are always ravenous. Always straight up. It's a shame because there's a couple of showers that you never see in there. Um, there's a little Heatsori you never see. A little tiny Kajako, oh, there he is. <laughs> Speak of the devil. A little uh, Deutz Kajako you don't see very often. 
Uh, Matsu Karabaki you don't see very often. But yeah, once we get them all into the bowl, we can have a proper look. I've got a friend coming up to help me. So yeah, see if you can guess who it is. But yeah, um, for, uh, next weekend, I think it's the Sunday, I'll be bowling them up. And if I don't get the video out on the Sunday, it'll be on the Monday, like so yeah. Everybody look out for that video if you're after any of these fish. Yeah. There's big boy Barry, I don't know if you saw him then. Absolute clonker. Got to be at least 30, 30 odd cm. And he's deep bodied as well. He's not got the sort of torpedo shaped body. He's got that sort of Ogoni big head sort of body, if you know what I mean. But yeah. Still, nice fish, it's going to be massive. There he is, look. He's as deep as he is long. Could just stand here all day watching these dudes. Nice chag there. Is that one of the showers? Yeah. Keeps changing that one. Blimey, this sun's actually burning my arm. Standing here. Oh, there's the Matsukawa Baki there. The elusive Matsukawa Baki, I should say. These dark fish are really interesting as well. They grow pretty well, to be honest. I think they might be spoken for, or one, at least one or two of them anyway. 99% of these fish are available. I think there's only two or three that have already somebody asked, said could I have them when if you get rid of them eventually and I was like yeah yeah from previous videos I've uploaded but yeah that's a nice nice look at the fry because we haven't really seen much of them to be fair in the last few videos and whatnot and plus since this filter's been here sorry about the wind it uh, kind of gets in my way and the net also so but yeah oh yeah I'll tell you what I haven't seen for ages I don't know if you remember um the two Deutz Achievers that I bowled up last time, they were really, really nice fish. I mean, I have seen them in here, obviously, but I haven't seen them come up to the top for a while. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see when I bowl them up. Got the Moog on there. Another Achiever. Is that my fish there? No, I don't think that one's him. Where is mine? Uh, the, yeah, there's obviously there's a couple I'm keeping. There he is, or she. Oh my mate, where you gone? Disappeared. But yeah, one or two that I'll be keeping. Crashy boy and something else. There he is. I think that's the one anyway. The one I've got, uh, the one I'm keeping, got like white round his eyes. But yeah, right, I'm rambling on again here, eh? I probably boring yeah but yeah there's a little look at some of the fish and um, anything you see that you like is a shout next weekend you'll be able to see them all measured up so uh, yeah happy days right we're going to have a look at the main pond now because it's had um, it's had uh, Learnex Pro in for five days I think so was it six? I'll have to check my calendar, like, but yeah, I need to do a bit of vacuum soon as that's done. I've um, removed all that gate and fence and everything from here because that has got to get over here ASAP. Um, so I need to do a little concrete pad there, or I might do it out of the blocks I've got left, although they are hollow. But yeah, well, I'm not 100% yet anyway, but I've got to build a form. The only problem is and get the uh, gradient in for you it comes down on um, quite a slope look you can see from that fence there how that just drops down and the gravel boards down there like so yeah I'm gonna have to dig right down here build a form out comes to about that spade cross and then uh, get me mixed on chuck it in Bob's your uncle but yeah these are all doing really well at the moment I say that as the uh, what's his name um, Kahaku's just sitting there, but now he's um, he's just basking in the sun, I think. But yeah, 99% of the fish are all right now. 
I mean, a lot of it would have been temperature while they was acting so strange, and then um, obviously the flukes. And the one I scraped, he was absolutely riddled with them. But yeah, there's one I'll be moving on. That one there, he's had tumours in his head since I, since I had him. Um, doesn't seem to affect it at all, like, but yeah, I'll be moving that one on. That white one there, with the gill flare, I'll be moving that one on. Good few of the smaller ones, you probably won't see them. Oh, there's one there to the right of the screen. I'll be moving them on. Um, yeah, but I'll let you all know. Nobody's probably going to want these ones, so I might give them to me mate for his uh, sort of wild pond. Well, it's like a miniature lake, to be honest, but yeah. See, they've been having a little bit of food, as the weather's been nice for about a week now. Um, the lily hasn't really grown, oh, it has grown a little bit. There's a new pad coming on there, but look, if you can see all that there, absolutely boatloads of it. These will all come and say hello. Thankfully that thing on the nose of that little shower there doesn't look like it was a tumour. I don't know if you can remember how big it was, but it's shrinking. Shrinking big time like so. Hello Susan. What are you doing mate? Hello. No crab sticks for you yet mate. The water's still a bit cool. But yeah, Christopher will definitely be hand feeding this year. I can guarantee that. I had my hand in there the other day, like stroking Susan as I do, soft as that sounds, and um, he come right up to me. So, but yeah, little dusting of weed on the bottom, not a massive amount, just that short sort of uh, low lying uh, algae, which is a bonus. I like that, as long as it doesn't go into blanket weed just yet. I'm not fussed, but yeah, the water is absolutely well, it's clear, like, but. Look at all that on the bottom, and there's particles of uh, weed floating about. I've got no fine mechanical filtration in at the minute, because I normally add a bit of floss to my end barrel. But let's go and have a quick look at the temperatures. Look at that, 14.4. Brilliant. Looks like everything's starting up. So yeah, right, I am rambling on now, big time, so... Um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right then, I'm gonna leave it there for today, guys. Um, yeah, make sure you tune in to the next video, which will be the bowling up video. Um, me and my mate, who you probably know, is gonna be bowling up some fry, like, and uh, yeah, let everybody see. And then they'll be available from then, like. So yeah, as always, a massive, massive thank you for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, guys.